Roblox Pressure. A game about opening doors, hiding in lockers, opening more doors, swimming underwater, and just how hard is it to beat this game? For some added context, I haven't beaten Pressure before, but I've had beaten a game similar, which is Roblox Doors, which was literally more than a year ago, so in today's video, I'll be attempting to beat Roblox Pressure for the first time, and let's see how hard this game really is. And okay, I don't want to start with any items, let's just confirm and let's just leave. Chat, I know what to do now. It's actually pretty straightforward, you just have to not suck. That's pretty much it. And also, sound is key. You really need a lot of sound in this game, so make sure, uh, make sure your volume is turned up. And it's always good to look behind you in case someone tries to jump you. Then after traveling through the rooms, I encounter my first entity, the Angler. To summarize the Angler, this guy storms inside the room, then you're forced to hide. I think there are different types of these monsters, or like these rush-like entities, which you'll be seeing later in the video. And okay, I'm still nervous and trying to beat this game, because it's actually still kind of hard. Oh, green guy. Do not look at him. Very annoying. Yeah, so this green guy over here is named Eye Festation, which pretty much forces the player to look at this guy. And if you ever do make eye contact with him, he'll do damage a lot. So it's best to not look at this entity. Let's just go up ahead. Oh, no, lights just flickered. I think he's actually right there. Yeah, this guy was right there. Okay, cool. And this is a dark room. Oh my goodness, bro. Now I'm at 45 HP. That's kind of bad. This way was good the whole time. Okay, never mind, I'm just dead. Okay, yeah, so pretend it never happened. So that entity right there are called the good people. Pretty much if you open up a fake door instead of a real door, he's either gonna jump at you, dealing huge damage to you. Let's just move on to our second run. Let's play again, chat. We're gonna beat this game today, I don't care. So as we're opening the first door and entering some dark rooms, I came across a very useful item, the gummy flashlight. Pretty much if you shake this flashlight, it'll recharge itself. And the only downside to this thing is that it is somewhat loud. And as some of you guys know, you really need sound in this game. And okay, I just want to see that one guy, I think his name is Sebastian or something. I just want to see him one time. Hopefully after that, I'll beat the game. Let's be honest, I'm actually very paranoid. Might be some sort of like entity like creeping up on me or something. That's a turret. Oh, we gotta hide soon. We can't hide there. Shoot. Is that gonna come back? I don't think so. But that turret room might be intimidating, but it's actually pretty easy once you understand the pattern. Eventually, I was able to get past them, and then I encountered this guy here. Ah, great. Found a keycard. Where's this guy? I think this guy comes back. 12 seconds later. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. So the entity we just saw was called Frogger. Or is it called Froger? I actually don't know. But pretty much this guy is kind of like ambush from doors. How he kind of goes inside, leaves, and then goes inside again. You have to really be careful about this person, because he can't ambush you very easily. Alright, let's swim now. Okay, someone's gonna come now. Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, this green guy! Let me just hide in here. Bro! That came from that way. Alright, 45. Let's get this money first, though. Oh, shoot, it's coming. Dude, what is this green stuff? I'm like flashlight or something, bro. Okay, so this slow green guy over here is called Chainsmoker. And pretty much this guy rushes down the hallways, but very slowly. This means you have to time your locker, meaning that if you get in too quickly, you're gonna get kicked out too fast. Or if you time it too slow, you're probably going to die. So after completing this mini puzzle over here, I went inside this fence, and I met the man himself, Sebastian. Welcome, welcome. 
from here, I couldn't really afford anything, so I bought some batteries. Even though I already had a gummy flashlight, don't ask me why, I just got it just in case. After getting everything I needed, I headed outside. And on the way, I encountered this Froger guy again, and traveled through this huge level, these vents, I saw this cool tree over here, and then I almost got jumped by this guy. Well that was close. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that entity that came out of nowhere was called Pinky. The thing about this monster was that, there's no indicator this guy will come, for example the flickering lights, you just have to really hear if this guy's coming. Eventually, I made it to this generator part here, where I had to repair some of these generators by doing this quick time events. And then after doing that, I entered this huge room. This is the part that I'm talking about. This guy's gonna get taken. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah. We have to turn five of those generators on, dude! Can you chill out? Oh my goodness. Imagine I died there. That would've been hilarious. It actually would not be hilarious, but okay. Let's do this thing quick. This guy's not gonna look at us anytime. Shoot! How am I so bad at this game? Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's only one. We have like four more to go. So many more. There's a locker right here, by the way. Oh, he's gonna come soon! Shoot! Let me get in! Oh my goodness, that was so close. Dude, let me get out now. Okay, I gotta stop failing. I have to click on F to get out, not like fail on, on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So turning on these generators were a challenge for me. Especially since they were scattered everywhere. And also these flying guys were very annoying. But after finding the generators and turning them on, I was able to make it out in one piece. I'm out of this place. Oh. And give me this lantern as well, just in case, right? And okay, here's why I play uh, very passively again. So at this point, I was very cautious. I did not want to die. Upon entering these turret rooms, I took my sweet time. I did not want to get shot by these things. Eventually, I swam my way through the facility again, and I also encountered Angler once more, and then I got to door 100. Holy, okay. All right, we're at this area now. Bro, this green guy. I don't know what his problem is. Okay, so this is where the hard part comes. Basically, I had to walk down this area, then into this huge room, flip a switch, and then grab this crystal. And then from here, all I had to do was escape. And surely that'll be pretty simple. Okay, this is where it gets scary. You have to, uh, you have to use skill now. And I don't have too much skill. I can't find a locker. Oh, just kidding, I found one. Ouch. That was not nice. At least we have double med kits, and I didn't waste it on the first time. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ways to go, but like because there's light at the bottom, that might be bad. Nice purple key card. Okay, there's a door here. When the path lights up, we need a key card. Something is coming though. Very close. I hear something. That was really close, actually. Hmm. Something's coming. Oh my goodness, dude. So pretty much at this point, it was me opening doors in the darkness and making sure there was a lock to hide inside of. And this happened for a pretty good amount of times because these entities kept coming back and forth. And eventually, I was able to make it over here. Okay, cool. Pretty much here. I think this is near the end. Oh, nice. After getting some instructions from the guy speaking, I made my way downstairs and into the water. And all I had to do was make my way outside and shake off some of these critters that were swarming me. And then I got to this huge area here. And here's the part where I had to do that uh, thing, right? Let's let all these guys pass first. We're gonna play very patient. I'm not gonna check this. Let's just do this one, like, right now. Yummy! Yummy! Yummy. Nice. Okay, that's one. I think once more comes, it's uh, it's gonna be harder. There's one right here, but I kind of want to save that for like last. Then I'm very safe. You know what I mean? 
That was fine. Two of them, dude. Let's see this one quick. Nice. So at this point, it was all about repairing these things, which was kind of hard to do. Because as you guys know, if these searchlights look at you, you're fucked. But I just had to be very careful, because I was literally in the end game. Alright, cool. Let's go to the middle. Okay, after doing this thing, I think you just go to the right side and you keep going right or something like that. You should be able to just follow these lights and you should be able to get out of here. But then there's one more part. I should be okay though. I'm going some tunnel now. Oh shoot! Okay, now this is just being patient and timing everything correctly. This thing is uh gonna look up here. That's kind of scary. Want us to look to the side, right? Yeah, I'm trying to hide in like right there. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe I just go right now. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Hide here. I can wedge myself in, and oh my goodness, boys, I think that's it. Wait, chat, I think we actually might have done it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chat. I think that was the hardest part of the entire game. Oh my. Dude. Imagine it got squished by this huge leg. But alrighty, boys, let's just go here. Flip this button, dude, quick. Flip this button, quick. Let me get out of this place, dude. Open this door. Open the gates. Oh my goodness, chat. I think we actually did it. This is it, right? No more entities are gonna come. Like, no need to hide in the locker, right? Open this door, dude. I'm out of this place. Bro, the submarine. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We actually did it. I can't believe that actually happened, dude. That was like the second try. I thought I'd take at least more than that. Holy. Man, this game was actually pretty difficult the first time, but you know what? After doing a little bit more, it's not that bad. I'd say this game's still harder than Doors, though. That's, uh, I wouldn't say that's for sure, but, like, in my opinion, I think it's harder than Doors. So, in conclusion, after beating Roblox Pressure for the first time, I really think this game isn't too hard, but the things that make the game difficult are the entities you may encounter, the rooms generated, the items found, and maybe just a lack of overall game knowledge. And comparing this game to Doors, I think this game is much harder, especially with the ending part. And also, you shout out to the Roblox Pressure Wiki, I use many of their sources to help me out. So overall, for my closing statement, just get lucky and don't suck at the game. Even though I suck, but you know what, whatever.